What is up everybody? The History Guy here and I'm excited about this. I know that many of you, like me, have been waiting patiently for the Alpha 3 update for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Well, we don't have that yet, but we have a huge update to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, which is the other game that they are currently working on. And uh, what we've got is a campaign. Now, we don't have the American campaign yet, which is a choice that will be available down the road, but we do have the British campaign. And I would expect that, like the campaigns on Ultimate Admiral or on Ultimate General Civil War, that the first battle is going to be a bit of a difficult one, especially since we're still fairly new to the game. But let's dive in For and take a look. My family has sailed the seas since before my grandfather's time. This is obviously a campaign that is going to take place during the American Revolution with a birth date of 1758. One day I went sailing and found that my old boat had sprung a small leak. Or perhaps the Napoleonic era. Or both. So we got to make a choice here. I repaired the hole with driftwood I found nearby. I patched the hole with wood from another boat. So, okay, it's going to show us what that does. Uh, bonus to repair cost. A bonus to upgrade cost. Or bonus to success chance. Okay. Um, let's go with upgrade cost. With wood from another boat. At twelve, my uncle made me an apprentice aboard his ship. Standing between land and sea, I felt like a man for the first time. Anticipating a life on the open sea, I dreamed of So it's a little more story driven, it seems, horizon. which is pretty cool. But life is difficult in the Royal Navy. Far removed from dreams of glory. Remembering my father's lessons, I worked hard to impress the crew. In time, I was made a midshipman, beginning new responsibilities. All right, we got another decision to make here. All right, so now we're just going to look at the choices here. Crew training bonus, uh, crew training speed bonus. Uh, casualties replenished bonus. Or hiring veterans bonus. Uh, oh, boy. I like the casualty battle, rep replenish. I bravely carried wounded crewmen to the ship's doctor while under fire. We were forged together in the crucible of battle. For gallantry, I was recommended for promotion to the rank of lieutenant. But first, I must pass the lieutenant's oh exam. I was summoned before a board of captains. After a lengthy examination, they asked me what I thought the Navy's greatest strength was. Five percent bonus on hiring officers. Ten percent chance to get more technologies. Uh, plus one hundred reputation per battle. I like the technology the fleet, bonus. I Let's said, go there. For no other navy possesses our numbers. So, lieutenant, right at about the time the American Revolution has they begun. They nodded their heads in assent. Then asked me for my appraisal of the navy's current strategic situation. All right, now we're looking at. Enemy strength reduced. Oh, oh, this is our difficulty. Oh, we're definitely our going easy. The There's no question about that. Our enemies are scattered and disorganized. First time on a game old, in a genre that I am not very good at. Skill in the definitely going easy. Of amphibious operations. Also, land and sea difficulty are set differently. Very cool. Both going to be easy, though. About At least for now. But when my foot steps on land, I want back off immediately. The board applauded my answers and took a moment to reach their consensus. Congratulations, Congratulations sir. sir. You have just made lieutenant. Okay. So, now I get to choose who I am. Oh, Horatio Nelson. Is that even a question? I mean, seriously. So we can see the bonuses. So we begin. A glorious death is to be envied. Well, Horatio Nelson had one. I believe he died at Trafalgar, didn't he? I don't know nearly enough about naval history to be able to speak with any confidence about that. But I feel like that's what happened. 
Spain guards the mouth of the San Juan River with a strategically placed fortification under the command of the Captain General of Guatemala. Securing the entrance to the river opens the route to Lake Nicaragua and will bring all these rich lands under the authority of Britain and His Majesty King George III. I feel like this is this looks similar to one of the missions you play. Uh, we played on the uh, earlier look. A frontal attack seems suicidal, but we have no other option available. Yeah, I, I feel like this is one we did. Uh, Spaniards will do their best to cancel your plan, so we've got to get up there and take out the batteries. Yeah, I definitely feel like we've played this mission. Our troops, ships will follow behind. They will avoid the naval battle and wait for its resolution. Without our protection, they will become easy prizes for the Spaniards. HMS Ceres, a light-armed brig, has sailed up to join us in the fight. The crew is desperate for a leader who can bring the ship through its trial by fire. You have no choice but to take command. All right, so we're in command of the HMS Richmond. Man, it has been a while since I played this game. I wasn't good at it to begin with, but now I feel really inadequate to the task. This is going to be interesting. And now I've got to get used to the fact that the the turn W and uh, E or Q and E are the opposite of what they are on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. <laughs> They're back to what they should be. So first things first, we've got to deal with these ships before we can even bring in our... All right, here comes the series. These are the uh, the troop ships. So, oh, those are the troop ships back there. we got the series coming in to help out with this fight. I'll put series under AI command so I can just focus on Richmond right now. Part of me wants to just board the guy, but I just, I feel like that would be reckless at the moment. Nice. Now we've got two ships firing on this one ship. So we've got to keep the HMS Richmond afloat. We've got to capture the village and capture the battery, and we've got five hours to do it. Got to be careful here that we don't get in the crossfire. All right, now we can fire on both ships at once. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we're letting it fly on the Galga right now. Nice. Let's get a closer look. Coming right up alongside her now. So we're going right with the wind. We gotta be careful not to get too close to shore, I would guess. Make sure these troop ships, okay, they're still staying back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way a little bit because I wanna keep firing on both ships. This one's in bad shape. Oh, we can get a good look at, oh, this is cool. Enter aiming mode. Oh, we can aim at a specific spot on the ship. That's fantastic. That's really cool. Okay, this one's just about down for the count. I think Ceres can probably finish them off. Let's go ahead and get up here and deal with this one. too far there. So we double click on it and that's where how we're able to do what we're doing here. Aim right there. Mercedes has surrendered. Excellent. I'm not going to worry about taking that ship, although they may come back and try to retake it themselves. I don't know.
I don't want to try and board it because I just feel like that would be too much. Too many casualties. Oh, yeah. at what's happening here. Oh, this is cool. I just really kind of want to watch this for now. We've got, we still got four and a half hours. So lots of time for the land battle. Yes. Shouldn't, shouldn't take much more to finish this one off. And then the nice thing is, once we've taken out these ships, we should be able to use my ship to help bombard the shoreline. Gaga's just about done. Finish them. We'll speed things up a little bit. Surprised it hasn't surrendered yet. Just about do it. Where are you going? How have they not surrendered? We're going to end up sinking this one. This ship's going to sink. Check that out. These guys all ran to the back of the ship to start firing when he came up. That was cool. Cool little detail that I really like. I really appreciate that. turn and try to finish them for me. Oh, Mercedes is back at it. Yeah. See, that's the problem. If you don't go and grab the ship, they they do that. Galga is sunk. All right, we're going to take out his crew before they can get away and cause further problems for me. This is where this becomes an issue because we've got these troop ships that are just waiting for the chance to get involved. And now I let this ship get away. I, I, I was afraid that was going to be an issue. We're going to go kind of into the wind here. And he's going to add all these new troops, these new sailors to this other ship. So that's going to be a lot more we're going to have to deal with. Probably going to have to sink this one too.
kind of grappled into him now. Maybe we can turn this way. There we go. Just got to be careful. We're getting awfully. This is taking a long time, longer than it should. All right, let's be careful here. All right, series, you're kind of getting in the way. So let's get you out of the way. I should have boarded that ship when I had the chance. I knew better. I'm running into my own ship now. Uh, I'm a terrible captain. Get over here, Mercedes. You're not getting away that easy. Alright, we do have the other ships now available, so we really need to... We need to get the, the landing going here. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll sneak back over here. Keep Richmond between Mercedes and my landing crews. Get up closer. Let's see if we can bring the series over and maybe start bombarding these guys. Not gonna take much more to sink them. Still kind of afraid to disembark. Oh, hello. Finish them off, come on. here a little closer before we get these guys off. One more volley might be enough to do it. Mercedes is surrendered. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not buying it yet. I 
trying to remember how to board. I think I probably just have to disembark a group and get them over there. Okay, here we go. Let's get the series over here. And now we've got Mercedes, so let's get Richmond over here as well. We need to get in there and start to help out with the landing. Now, I wonder if I'm able to save. No, nope, we can't save in the middle of a battle like we can on Ultimate General Civil War. But I thought that would probably be a good place to do it. We've got to capture the village and capture the battery in the next three hours. And not lose my ship in the process. We sunk the Mercedes? Oh, it must have already been going down. Alright, well. Get back on board the Richmond then. We're going to come in as close as we can so we can maybe help out with the landings. Okay, we're, we're all right. We're being fired on on the beach. We got to get off the beach. This is like Normandy. Get off the beach. So these soldiers apparently can't occupy the fortification, but these ones can. Not sure why that is exactly, but all right. Let's get these guys up here. The batteries are up there. I'm going to try to come around this side here. Can we occupy these buildings? Not these ones. We're going to keep McDonald right there just to keep him occupied while we send some of these others around. Oh, we've got a battery right in there. Okay. battery that's about to be shelled if at all possible there we go all right now we got to be careful here because I don't want to get into a friendly fire situation but let's kill the sails let's get these guys over this way as much as possible out of the line of fire from that ship because unlike Ultimate General Civil War, friendly fire is very real in this game. Alright, this company's coming down. Let's get in there on his flank, maybe even on the rear. Make sure there's nobody else behind me somewhere. think we can hit this battery up there. I gotta be careful that I don't lose series from his fire though. And I'm actually gonna keep Richmond offshore for that very reason. Because if we lose Richmond we lose the battle. Two hours 49 minutes left. Series is getting down here too far to be of any use. Except to be fired on from the shore. Okay. Let's press ahead. We're going to take the first objective. And then we just have to take the battery. Up on top. That's a big one. Charge! Well, that was short-lived. Got some supply here.
These are well experienced units here. We got a two star unit, one star here. Oh, we put the sails down, so he's not gonna be able to do that. Plus, he's going into the wind. Got to be careful sending these guys out as the ship does make its way over here. All right, up the hill. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to go this way and try to get them up on top as the others make their way up. At some point, this crew's gonna have to turn and face me. There they are. I'm looking at the different formations. We've got charge, double quick, just the different movements we can make, fall back. So, not unlike Ultimate General Civil War as far as the uh, some of the commands go. We've got the San Juan Town Militia unwisely charging into me. All right, we gotta be careful here of friendly fire. These guys surrendered, excellent. We shattered that group, so now we make our way up. I need to keep one eye on that ship and make sure there's not some surprise out there I'm not aware of, because Richmond has to survive this mission. All right, we've got a little bit of a surprise here. We've got this company coming up at me, so we're gonna send Bailey up there to deal with them. Three companies up there total. Run! So obviously this is gonna wipe this is gonna wipe these guys out in terms of energy, but their condition's pretty good at the moment. Let's see how our units are doing. Four kills, seven deaths. Twenty-six kills, two deaths. Ninety or so thirteen and four. There we go. This is a tricky here. I really would rather not march in the open against this battery garrison here. I'd rather come around from the other side if I'm able to. But here's my, my two star unit. It's also my largest unit. Well, second largest. Let's keep Bailey out on the flank here just to keep an eye on things. Yeah, stop running now. Alright, I think we're in good shape. We, uh, we have two and a half hours to go. One thing makes me a little bit nervous, and this was always an issue in Ultimate General Civil War, is that I'm, I'm leaving the town undefended, so there's always that possibility that uh, he sneaks a unit back there that I don't know is back there. Uh, so I think at some point I'll probably maybe send Bailey back down there if I need to. But otherwise we're in good shape. Now, granted, I'm playing on easy mode, but brand new game, first time playing the campaign, there's no other way this was going to go. We'll play through and then get a look at the campaign screen after this so we know what kind of comes next. Okay. Looking good. Let's start marching toward the final objective. Alright, we've got 
we've got a company out here we've got to deal with. This is the tricky thing about fighting in a place like Guatemala is that you've got the trees everywhere and it gets a little interesting. Oh, look, reinforcements coming. You got a lot of trees, so there's a lot of spots where folks can kind of be hiding and you don't realize they're there. Let's charge these guys. Kill them all, yes. These guys are marching up the road in their white uniforms and they're about to get a surprise. Hello. Now we've got this other unit to surrender. Alright, we're going to send Bailey back down to the objective. I think we, yep, we shattered this other unit too. Now here's where it gets interesting because that's a big battery, but it's a coastal battery and I would think he wouldn't be able to turn those guns on the infantry as we attack. I would think that. Alright, I want to do this so that they're side by side. I don't want to get into a friendly fire issue here. Make sure these guys do not fire. Hold fire on both sides. What unit just surrendered? Oh, yeah, look what he did. Uh-huh. He did try to sneak somebody in there, and he got that militia to unsurrender. There's nowhere I can really occupy the barracks here, is there? All right, we're just going to kind of sit tight. Now he's going to march everybody down there and try to retake the town. I had a feeling that might that might be an issue. So here's the other big concern I've had, is that somehow this battery could turn around, but it doesn't look like that's a possibility. Alright, now you may fire. Oh, this is a big fight here. Let's be careful. Oh, they surrendered. Okay. <laughs> I was starting to get a little worried there. All right, we've got three minutes contested on the village, 20 minutes contested on the battery. He's going to come and try to take the village from me at the last minute. We're going to send these guys back down. Let's tell Ceres not to fire anymore. And then we just need to hold the battery. All right, look at this. He's going to try to rescue that crew, which we're going to put out here away from things. We're going to charge in and finish these regulars off. Nice. Okay, there's the end of them. Now let's keep one eye on this village as he comes in to try to take it back before the timer ends. As long as Bailey holds, we're good. 14 minutes. He's got, oh, he's sneaking in on my rear. I may have to, this may be a timer that gets reset. Darn it. Let's fall back. Alright, we 
took out this coastal battery, battery crew. Let's get down here and relieve the pressure on him. Our condition's very good, so we can charge into these guys. Shattered that company. I think we're good. We got nine minutes. And he's coming in. He's gonna try to try to do this. So smart on the AI's part. At the very last second to try and deal with me. Got the San Juan Town militia that was unsurrendered. It's not gonna be enough though. Alright, we're good. That should be the battle. Sweet. Okay, I think we got a win. Excellent, so here we go. Obviously I vastly outnumbered him. I completed all the goals we can see here. Uh, what happened to each of the units. And it actually talks about heavy versus light and medium as far as the condition. Captured some sea service uh, 38 muskets and bayonets, some 78s. All right, let's take a look at the uh, after battle campaign screen. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like and what we do moving forward. So here we go. Interesting. Very cool. So you can see we're dealing with Central America here. Got the Lake of Nicaragua. We were in Guatemala up here. So uh, let's kind of explore things a little bit. We've got available missions to us uh, from Monday, April 3rd, 1780. Dinner for Admiral. You can see what you, your rewards are for those things. I'm going to be a captain now. Uh, we've got, okay, we've got something from, the, from London. We have been informed that His Majesty's ship Richmond, a 32-gun frigate, took action. All right, so this is just telling what we just did. Young Lieutenant Horatio Nelson realized the severity of the situation and took command, returning fire upon the Spanish almost immediately. By his orders, Richmond uh, looked up, uh, took up best position, and its fire became resultative. In the following action, the Spanish ships were defeated, and our forces secured access to the mouth of the San Juan River, allowing His Majesty's forces to mount operations inland at their earliest opportunity. So that's very cool how it does all this. Um, new technology. Very, oh, we can research. Oh, this is cool. I'm excited about this. So we've got research, technology, uh, light infantry tactics. Uh, you can see how much money. We've got 30000 uh and funding right now and you can see um what the different amounts are uh this would probably be like our government points in ultimate general civil war right there uh silk pricked sails for 2500 uh, we've got fire ship modification i'm gonna hold off on any of that stuff uh, for now uh okay here we go now we're looking at ships that are available oh this is really really cool uh, the HMS Ferret, which is a 7th-rate brig. We can look at the details of said ship. And then looks like here we can make an upgrade, or we can add, oh yeah, mount an upgrade, and the different costs for those upgrades. So much customization here. This is going to be really, really fun. Uh, we have to assign a captain to the HMS Alert in order to get that one going again. Um Assign an officer. Here we go. So we've got our officers that are available um, and how much they each cost. I'm not sure the difference between, uh, maybe it's just because he's a midshipman. No, there's something about this one with the red ribbon. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. So let's go ahead and assign this particular officer. All right, here we have the ships at the Admiralty that we can purchase along with the ones that we currently have in harbor. Nothing real great right now. Um, officers, 
We've got naval weapons. So, so officers include, um, we've got infantry here as well as the naval officers. Naval weapons that are available to upgrade our ships. Man, there's so much that I'm going to have to learn about how to do this and what, what's going to work in different places. Land weapons that are available. An 8-inch land service mortar. That's cool. Um, so there's that. And then we go back. We've got the map here. And I don't know if there's anything we can click. Oh, we just hit next stage. Um, then the research, of course. And then here is us. And we've got three career points available to spend. So a lot to learn. A lot to go over. We're going to continue this campaign. I know I've got a lot of different series going on right now, but I didn't expect this was going to come out now. We certainly have to keep up with this. So please let me know your thoughts below. Use the comment section. Drop a like. Subscribe. And um, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification every time I've got new content. I appreciate it, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.